We did a video uh, the other day in regards to AR VR glasses. Uh, when that was uh, around Brilliant Labs' uh, frame, which was actually really, really cool. You got to go check that out. We'll leave a link down in the comments for that one. Um, but the, com the conversation around AR, VR, and what everybody's doing with it, um, we found an interesting article. I think Brian found an interesting article around this that I don't think AR, VR is for everybody right now. Um, there's other companies doing other takes on it, and we think Meta and, and Raybrand here actually has a pretty good take on it. Um, Brian, you want to pull up that article? I think it was by The Verge. Yeah, let me do that. Yeah, so, I mean, this is interesting because, um, you know, Meta has definitely come out with something. They want to call it, uh, you know, smart glasses. They're obviously working with Ray-Ban on it, so props for at least using a uh, brand that is – well recognized uh, they're going to make a pair of glasses that actually look like a pair of glasses thank yeah. god um because Very you know, classy. I mean, yeah it's definitely not scuba gear goggles like some of the other vr stuff we see on the market uh meta apple nothing um brilliant labs did a really nice uh um smart glasses i'll say but those were truly ar this is where i think these diverge a little bit so brilliant labs ar and again look at watch the video that we put out um shameless plug right yeah um that one actually had screens so there's all that screens built into the glass itself and it's bringing up notifications things like that from bluetooth connection to your phone this is not doing that so where where are these smart glasses eh, smart ish we'll put it that way will they have connection to a an assistant a siri a you know google and then something with that probably nothing where this varies off is that there's nothing in the glass so you're not going to see holograms or anything like that. Um, but it does have on either side of the glass, you can see the uh, two holes for cameras. It does a beautiful view of a camera. Um, I definitely have to give them props because they adjust for light wonderfully. There is actually a video of somebody coming in from a bright sunny day to indoors. They adjusted great. Um, some of the video they showed the stabilizations, fantastic. Nothing. So um, I give them a lot of props for that. Um, Great audio. So there's some speakers that uh, come down from where the ear uh, connection is. And then there's five individual microphones that go around the bridge of the nose and give you the microphone audio pickup for a phone call, something like that. And, you know, again, I saw another recording of this earlier and they compared it to AirPod Pros, uh, a wired AirPod, uh, some high end Jabras, stuff like that. And these sounded better they actually sounded better. Um, so kind of a cool, you know, system. I mean, you can get these without the sunglasses. So if you just want clear glasses or a prescription, you can get that put in there. Um, if you do want the Ray-Ban sunglasses, you can absolutely do that. You can even put in transition lenses if that's something you want. So this could be something you use even for phone calls if you're, uh, you know, doing work and stuff like that. And then go outside and film a podcast as you're walking around talking about whatever it is that you're passionate about. Nothing. So Kind of neat, but I, you know, smart glasses, mm, definitely not AR. There's no augmented reality, nothing, but, you know, video, audio, call pickup, um, and, you know, they look nice. They look like glasses. Um, yeah, they did a good job. And uh, I think, Dave, we saw these were roughly around, what, $299? Yeah, sale? they're $299. Some people on Amazon are price gouging on these, but $299. For a good pair of sunglasses, I mean, you're easily 200 plus all day long. Decent pair of uh, Ray-Bans, Maui Gem, Oakley, something like that. You're above 200. So I don't think this is obscene. And some of the specs on this is crazy. They have three different um, styles. They got the classic Wayfair. They got a Wayfair Large for kind of, you know, big noggins like mine. And then they got a headliner, which please don't take this the wrong way, looks more like for a female set of glasses, I call them a cat eye look, um, but they're they're really good looking. Um, one of the specs I read on this thing was crazy. Uh, the camera has between an upgraded from, it's been upgraded to a 12 megapixel camera. Listen to the photo resolution on this, and this is for little tiny cameras in the glasses. Uh, 3024 by 4032, while videos are now 1080p with 30 frames per second. That's freaking awesome for this. Now, what they don't say is how long the battery life is on this. They say it could be better, but could be better for what? Um, one of the uh, articles I read about it was talking about this is the new 007 um, uh, sunglasses or prescription glasses for the everyday Joe or or Mary Jane. I don't know what you want to call them, but any, any people with that one. Um, but it does pretty cool stuff. Um, 
One of the you other. Know, I saw Dave the, the charging of this. I just want to bring it up. Is that they give you a nice Ray Bans case, and it looks like it's just yes. a standard glasses case. But you slide those in there, and they charge right while it's in the case, and you can get multiple charges off of one charge of the case itself. So you charge the case up just like you would AirPod Pros for their case. Slide the glasses in. It does the same thing. Recharges them. I think they said three to four times before you recharge the case. And they say, and they also said about going from like twenty percent to one hundred percent is about an hour. Yeah, sorry, I mistook your yeah, So it's four hours on a single charge. But again, that's going to be your mileage may vary on that. Up to thirty six hours with a fully charged portable case. And to your point, that case looks like almost maybe a little bit larger than a normal Ray Bans case or, or an Oakley case or Maui Gym case. It's actually really this is really really. Um, inconspicuous, if you will. Now, somebody did make a comment about it stating that they wish that the, you know, your recording light was a little bit more conspicuous or, the, or, or whatever they call the LED privacy indicator is still too subtle. There's cameras everywhere now. I, I don't really think this is that big of a deal unless you're doing something kind of pervy with it. And if you are, well, you're just a a-hole anyway. So, um, but it says importing photos and videos are easy, very stylish. Again, the point where you talk about it, you sound good compared to AirPods or anything like that. I think these have definitely got something out there. I want to see where they take this. There's references to future upgrades for smart uh, capability for maybe potential AI or something like that. It works with uh, the voice control works with um, you can send messages through SMS, WhatsApp or Messenger, I think it was. But again, I I think this is pretty cool. I would love to see more stuff like this because I think this is what more people want. I don't want to walk around with a scuba helmet on my head and, and go eat lunch because I got to be looked at. Sorry, that's my yeah, only yeah, the, only, the only thing, again, I, I think we just need to, you know, get, uh, they say smart glasses. You know, the smart thing is, uh, you know, I think that's more of a mark, marketing term, you know, than anything else. Um, you know, if you're interested in real AR glasses, take a look at Brilliant Labs. Take a look at the video we put out earlier. The frame is awesome. And compare, compare them to this. I mean, there's about a $50 difference right now. Granted, nobody's gotten the Brilliant Labs ones in their hands yet, so we don't know how the sound is. We don't know how the video capture is. You know, there could be some discrepancies in terms of that right there. Um, but, you know, again, it's, you know, is it AR? No, not really. But you know, this this fits a niche, and it's it's interesting. And uh, I like the fact that they used a, no, a name brand that yeah. actually knows how to make a good looking glasses. Yep, we know it's quality. We know it's going to last, um, and it's got three different styles. I think there's 150 variations configuration you could put this into. I like them. I think they're going to be a big hit. Um, I want to see what they do before I buy a pair, but I think eventually I'll grab some. Yeah, if you got this, got some of these already or you're thinking about it, you know, throw something in the comments. We'd love to hear back from you what your thoughts were. But uh, everything that we've seen online for other reviewers, uh, they're impressed. And, uh, and uh, it would be fun to uh, play around with these a little bit, I think. Yep, I like them. Leave your comments below. Thanks, all. Have a good Thanks, one. Thanks, everybody.